welcome back to the next part of the machines video I will show some machines I built using the basic blocks I explained in the previous video so um, let me just start with this one that's a pretty basic plant and harvesting machine if you use this lever it will turn on the clock it's a simple timer and oh yeah by the way you can put the logic gates on walls and ceilings so um, just as a side note so as you can see it generates a clock signal the not gate turns on the lights and this deployer contains some flax and some bone meal and it will plant flax and use bone meal on it and then the block breaker will harvest the lower block um, the stuff from the top just falls down and will be sucked in by this transposer and the block breaker and transposer feed this tube and put their resources into this chest. Oh, it's already quite full. Let's take something out. Um, below here you can see there is a filter and it's supposed to suck in the seeds and feed them back into this deployer, but since the deployer is already full, um, it will sometimes not be a valid target for the tube, so the seeds won't be filtered, and if that happens, they just end up in this chest. So if you make some room, everything is fine, and you will only receive string in this chest. Of course, this is not a perpetual machine, because for this to work this fast you'll have to supply quite a lot of bone meal you'll use up about um, I think one bone for four stacks no, uh, four string or I don't know what the conversion rate was but it's okay if you got a large mob trap it will be no problem to acquire enough bone so um, yeah for this to work uh, I had to um, put a signal to the block breaker only every second uh, clock so you see I used a standard toggle switch to uh, yeah reduce the frequency to half its uh, value delivered by this timer and so you can use um, other stuff too you can also plant some crops some wheat or whatever you like and feed the seeds back and you'll only have to resupply some bone meal so next up uh, powered by the same a clock signal sometimes uh, there is a visual glitch here I think this is because um, there is a chunk um, chunk border I'm not sure whatever so standard cobblestone generator using lava and water whenever the lava tries to flow onto this block the water will cool it off and it will be converted to cobblestone that's a standard minecraft mechanic and um, well there are some block breakers powered by this clock signal generated over there they feed this tube I actually wouldn't need that many because um, well the chest fills up quite rapidly I just uh, build a drain so you can remove some of the cobblestone but actually 
five block breakers deliver a cobblestone much faster than um, a single transposer can pull it out of uh, the chest. So, um, yeah, but it doesn't matter actually because if the chest fills up, as I said, the tubes will block and the block breakers will stop operating even when they receive the signal. So that's no big deal. So um, what I've done next is pull cobblestone out of here using the same clock signal again. Put it through some tubes here into the furnace from above if you connect the tube to the top of a furnace it will put it in the top spot the same goes for from below if you put some coal or whatever you use from this from below this uh, transpose is also powered by the same clock and they will all try to feed cobblestone from this chest and coal or charcoal from this chest and whenever uh, one piece of, is used up it will be re-delivered so this will be as long as there is coal and cobblestone available it will be filled then the smooth stone that's uh, created will be fed into this, this chest automatically again by the same clock signal so you see the wires run quite a long while and no problem there are some visual glitches but they work quite well so um, yeah because I didn't want to farm so much coal or uh, you know inventory edit it in or whatever so you see I delivered charcoal from over here that's pretty much the same idea. From this chest, I'll be pulling some wood. Okay, there's nothing left because this thing's not on right now. It will feed this furnace. It operates on charcoal produced by itself. It will, um, this transposer sucks the charcoal out, puts it into this tube. And because the furnace is closer than th this chest, whenever a piece of coal is used up, it will the next piece of coal that's produced will get rerouted back here into the fuel chamber of the furnace. And every uh, excess piece of coal will just go into this chest. So that's pretty much an endless charcoal supply as long as you got um, wood coming up and well to create wood of course you need a tree farming machine and that's more or less with some tweaks copied from LRM it relies on these uh, regular saplings it will not work with um, the other kinds because only this uh, these saplings will grow into large trees you know sometimes when you uh, try to make trees with bone meal they will or, or regularly grow them they will grow very very large sometimes they are the regular stump and uh, just some leaves and sometimes they grow into this huge and uh, very branched trees and if that happens um, that it's okay for them obviously to be enclosed in uh, space so the regular trees won't grow because they need to space around their stumps but the larger versions uh, obviously grow anyway so um, it wastes some bone meal because when you deliver try to deploy the bone meal and the tree won't grow because it doesn't have enough space it will simply won't grow but the bone will be consumed 
so you're wasting some but then again if you get a huge mob trap collecting bones is not that much of a problem the saplings uh, you can procure the saplings you're harvesting and that's not really a problem so let's just turn it on and I'll explain more so turning it on uh, will also turn on these lights so there's always enough light also at night um, something I didn't show in the first video also these are the jacketed cables um, here you can run jacketed cables without support of any other block so that's sometimes quite useful when you don't want to run them on uh, run wires on a surface so let's wait and hope some time it will work because um, as long there are, there are no sensors implemented sensors um, detectors whatever the block breaker right there will always uh, consume the sapling when it's not uh, grown into a tree and it will be refed into this chest and you see for a very short time it will be in there and then this filter will suck the sapling out again and put it back into the deployer so they don't get lost uh, well why does it not grow actually not sure it used to work Yeah, you see, it worked. Um, sometimes, only when the large versions of the tree grow, then you see, there was a stump. It will be instantly harvested and the wood is put into the chest. And then when the furnace needs new fuel, it will be fed back to the furnace. So, um, this furnace over here producing stone can actually run only on bone meal. So, maybe later I'll build a mob trap and use some skeletons uh, to power all this. Well, I hope you enjoyed these use cases and uh, uh, maybe got some ideas for your own plants and machines and whatever. So, you see, um, this stopped working because all the all this stuff is full. So, no more um, operations will be allowed until you make room. And then it will continue to work. So, can turn it all off. I didn't connect the uh, this the tree farming machine to it. You have to turn it off uh, separately because, yeah, uh, didn't get to that. But you get the idea. I hope you liked it, and um, well, thanks for watching.